I have two simple examples. The left side div, I have an overflow of auto, so you can see it has a scroll bar, while the right hand side is an overflow of hidden, so obviously there is no scroll bar. Now, one thing that can be really annoying is when you have a scroll bar versus don't, your padding is actually different. You can see that this red outline around our left side box does not take into account the size of the scroll bar, so having a scroll bar actually shrinks your content size. This can be annoying to deal with, which is why there's a property called scroll bar gutter, which allows you to add space where the scroll bar would be, even if there is no scroll bar. All you have to do is set this to stable, and now as you can see on our right hand example, there's a space to the right where the scroll bar would be, and this is really great if your content changes sizes and goes from not scrolling to scrolling, it won't actually resize any of your content because there's always a space for that scroll bar. You can also pass in the both edges property if you're doing this, and that'll give you a scroll bar on both the left and the right hand side, or the top and bottom depending on how your scrolling works, which is really good if you want to make sure all your content stays centered. Now the only downside to this property is browser support is not quite there 